it's another kohlrabi video um <laughs> i do love kohlrabi but the reason that i wanted to make this video was because i shared this picture of this kohlrabi on the interwebs and i got a lot of feedback from folks asking questions like what is that thing is that a fruit or a vegetable what do you do with that how do you grow things that big um but the two questions that i got far and away the most of were how on earth are you going to eat that much kohlrabi how are you going to prepare it and isn't that thing going to be really tough and woody because it's it's this big and i thought i thought the easiest way to answer at least one of those questions was to actually just shoot a video of slicing this up so that you all can see the interior texture of this now this variety is a variety called cossack and it was selected to reach this giant size without becoming hard and woody so it retains its, the same eating quality that a normal kohlrabi of this size would have but it gets gigantic obviously and this one which was 13 pounds when it still had all of its branches and foliage on it was actually the smallest of the the row that we had planted so they definitely can get giant sized and i did want to let people know i had this concern um, with some of the comments that folks were throwing out there do not grow like a normal kohlrabi variety and try to let it get this big because they will get woody and they will not taste good. So definitely pick them more at like, I usually say softball or baseball size even um, for best eating quality. If you want a giant blue ribbon prize winning kohlrabi, grow Kosak. So let's go ahead and slice this guy up. So this guy, interestingly, was like a conjoined twin of kohlrabi. <laughs> you can see this little teeny tiny guy forming here, which I thought was really interesting, but I'm just gonna chop him off. This is not going to be a pretty slicing job. You can see already, it still has a really fine grained flesh. There's not a lot of woodiness going on there. Normally I would peel my kohlrabi a little closer to the skin, <laughs> but since this thing is so giant, I'm not particularly concerned about wasting some of it. All right, that was not a pretty butchering job, but you get the idea. So this is after it's been skinned. I'll slice it up here. And you can see all the way through the interior, cut right into the middle here. Still a nice fine grain. Very crunchy, quite sweet. And to address the other question, which is what are you going to do with all that kohlrabi? Mainly this. And I've mentioned before, I love kohlrabi on like a crudite tray or like raw vegetable tray with a veggie dip. Homemade dill dip is where it's at. I will actually put that very, very easy recipe in the comments below. It's great braised. It's great shredded into slaw. You can put, cube it up and put it in soups. It's just a very, very versatile vegetable. And I am going to try new this year because I have, oh, I think I planted 12 of these. <laughs> So I've got a lot more kohlrabi to, uh, I'm not gonna be able to eat them fast enough. I've gotta preserve them somehow. So this is my, I love this recipe book. If you're into pickling at all, I highly recommend it. It's Pickled Pantry by Andrea Chessman. There is a recipe in here for dilled kohlrabi, which are like two of my favorite things, dill and kohlrabi. And basically it's a kohlrabi pickle with some dill and garlic as seasoning. I don't see how that could possibly be anything but fantastic. So that is what I will be doing with all of that kohlrabi. And I feel like I'm becoming the world's biggest advocate for kohlrabi, but I really hope if you have not tried it, that you plant it in your garden, either this fall or next spring. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.